first guest, he faced off against mad scientists, fembots, and Bigfoots. Just an average day. Just an nice. average day for, for Lee Majors. Uh, welcome to the show. Thank now, you. now you're talking about um, a movie called Do You Believe? It's good to have you here. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very much. Tell us what, what Do You Believe is about. Well, uh, Do You Believe is a faith-based movie. It's, uh, it's made by the same people who did God's Not Dead, which was made last year, yeah. which was a little movie that uh, they made for about a million dollars, and it grossed 60 million yeah. in the wow. States and 60 Kevin million Sorbo nationwide. Came by, yeah, it was a big, huge, uh, independent hit back then. So it, it, it's shown that there is a thirst and a hunger for these type of movies in, the, in middle America, yeah. so to speak, and uh, so there's a big audience out there. What so this, this movie is... Uh, it's, it's, it's basically 12 characters. If you remember, there was a movie called Crash. Oh, yes. yeah, it won an Oscar. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and it takes, it's the same kind of premise. It takes 12 people and follows them in their, in their, as they go through their lives. They're looking for something, yearning for something, trying to find something, and then it all intersects in the streets of Chicago where they, they, they come to the resolution of whatever their problems were. Some, mm -hmm. were, some, were, uh, the, some were completely found and some of them we're not. I mean, uh, some were satisfied and some weren't. But anyway, it's, it's just a, it's a powerful film. And, and I've seen a lot of uh, faith-based movies, and I've done a few. Uh, most of them may be uh, considered a little vanilla. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this one has a production value of, of a big movie. And, and it's just, uh, it's a tremendous... But we're going to see some of that production value yeah. in this clip. Would you, can you set this up? Uh, I think it's a clip with, uh, and let me tell you, can I tell you real quick, uh, yeah. Myra Savina? is oh, uh, is uh, yeah. Academy Award winner. We yeah. have Teddy McGinley, uh, Sybil Shepard, who plays my wow. wife, who will be in this clip. And then uh, there's uh, Sean Astin. Oh, and there's wow. Brian a Bosworth. There's about six other major sure. stars. Anyway, this is a, uh, where my, my wife and I are... Uh, we've lost a daughter uh, uh, many years ago, but, but she keeps grieving, and she's... She doesn't go out. She can't get her out of the house. She's turned the house in her room, the daughter's room, into like a museum, and it's it's not it's not good for her. So I I, I try I'm trying to get her out of that out of that house. So anyway, this Better is the beginning of that this. scene. Okay, let's take a look. What are you doing? Something we should have done a long time ago. Put it back. What's the matter with you? Terry, Ethelene is gone. She's not away at college or working in Minneapolis. She's not coming back for Christmas. I know that, J.D., but this is my daughter's room. This is all I have left. This is not a room, sweetheart. It's a museum. We're not honoring her memory. We're living in the past. What else are we supposed to do? Terry, the world didn't end when she died. Ours did. No, it didn't. We wanted it to, but it didn't. And ever since, we've been selfish. We've turned our grief into our most prized possession. God doesn't want that. Where was God the night we lost Kathleen? I'll tell you where he was. He was asking that man not to take another drink, begging that bartender not to serve it to him. He was hoping he'd call a cab, go home with a friend, anything but get behind that wheel. Wow. That is so powerful. Thank you. That's great writing. What a, wow. uh, it's probably one of the better written scripts I've ever done. And, uh, and, and all the cast people who read it, they just fell in immediately and said, yes, we love it. And uh, it's, it's a very powerful film. It, sadly, this is, that, that scene was very close to home for you. Yeah, this I, is a tragedy I, that I, uh, you actually went through as a child. Well, I, I, my, my mother, uh, my dad was killed in the steel mills uh, when I, before, my, before I was born. My mother was eight months pregnant with me. And then um, my mother was hit by a drunk driver, standing on the corner, waiting to go to work. There's a nurse. And uh, I was 16 months old. And, and uh, <clears throat> I was adopted down into Kentucky with some distant relatives. But it, it kind of, um, it, I, 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 when I did those scenes and stuff in this film, it, it kind of hit home a little bit. Sure. And uh, so. I just think that's all. That's all I want to go there right yeah. now. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I can understand Thank why. You. I mean that, but it, on some levels, it you just we sat here connected very much to that scene, <clears> and you <throat> can see how that sort of lived through you. Um, it, the the scene that you guys worked on this car crash scene with Sybil. Um, what was it like working 
in that particular, <laughs> and working with her, too. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, on a, a lighter note, there's a little girl in the back seat, and we're hanging off of a bridge in this car, and, uh, uh, and every time the car would creak a little bit, Sybil would let out uh, maybe a few curse words that weren't <laughs> in the script. <laughs> and the little girl in the back, I remember oh her saying, it, 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 it's okay, my mommy says that sometimes. <laughs> oh, my God. So it, it Sybil was, says it, it a lot. It was, yeah, Sybil <laughs> says it a lot, but it was very cute. And, uh, She's a real firecracker. The, <laughs> she is. She's great. The um, faith and church specifically played a big role in your life, yeah. um, your uh, entire life. I mean, growing up and obviously what you went through early on. Uh, well, I grew up in the hills of Kentucky. Uh, but the problem, the thing of it is, I didn't know uh, until I, I found out when I was 12 years old that I was adopted. I found it in the cedar chest, you know, reading the newspaper. And then my step-parents didn't know I knew until I was about 19 or 20 years old. <laughs> um, that is a, uh, oh yeah, that, that I'd just come home and I had an older brother uh, and we'd just come from the paint store and uh, he had grabbed my paint hat that the painter gave me at the store and, and, I, and I, I was a little upset about it and then he finally gave it back to me and that was a picture somebody <laughs> took. Adorable. <laughs> the, um, but, but being uh, very involved with church, I understand there was a point where you went and actually uh, I, yeah, I, I uh, remember very distinctly uh, back when I was auditioning for the Big Valley uh, with 500 other actors and it boiled down to the last three or four were maybe Roy Thennis, uh, um, Dennis Hopper, and oh my Egbert goodness. Reynolds. But anyway, uh, it, was months, it was a month before we would know who got the part. But I remember going by that little church there on Coldwater Canyon Little brown church, it's yeah, just yeah. Yeah. Ventura there, uh, and uh, then I stopped in there and said my little prayer and uh, uh, asked him if this would be, it would be to be, you know, and whatever. And then I, later I, I did get the message, and I went back and thanked him, and uh, I, I've gone through my life thanking him for every job I've gotten. And uh, that's gratitude. For the isn't it? 52 years now that I've been in the business. I mean, that's wow. amazing. 52 <laughs> years <laughs> in Hollywood. Wow. Two of your bigger roles that I'm sure not, I'm not alone in this, everyone at home and everyone here is very excited about Six Million Dollar Man and The Fall Guy. They're making remakes now. Do you know who they've cast? Well, you know, Harvey Weinstein, the Weinstein brothers have the uh, property for the Six Million Dollar Man and uh, <clears throat> they did announce that Mark Wahlberg will be doing it and, and naturally it's going to be the Six Billion Dollar Man. <laughs> I mean, they, they <laughs> kind of left me in the wake there. Oh, and gosh. the other one you can see, uh, The Rock yeah. uh, has announced that he will do the uh, Fall Guy. Sure. Movie. Will there be a cameo? Yeah. Have they talked about Listen, that Listen, they haven't even written the script yet, so, oh. uh, you know, I'm sure there will be something. Oh, there has but, to be. Uh, well, I look forward to it. It's a delightful to have you here. Yeah, and spending it's awesome. Time with us. It's just, and <laughs> the movie opens movie. nationwide this Friday. Perfect. On the 20th of March. Yeah.